Uh, I was at Trinity from grade one. Um, if I talk about uh, my first days, my first class teacher was Mrs. Obey Sekara. And uh, grade one and two, there were lots of memories in school. Uh, at first, I was not uh, a very studious child. Um, I used to get scolded, punished, taken to the headmaster for uh, stuff I did in class. Um, I remember being punished for cutting my uh, classmate's shirt and uh, for me not to get caught I just cut my shirt and uh, told uh, whoever who wanted to punish me that the other guy cut my shirt too and that's why I cut his. So that is one of my memories from grade one. Um, and uh, if, talking about another memory of getting punished, uh, whistling in class was one of the things I used to do with my friends, so that was another uh, good memory I had. Um, talking about cricket at college, I started playing cricket at college from grade 3 because uh, all the extracurricular activities in college, uh, we are allowed to do them from grade 3 onwards. Um, my first coach at Trinity was Mr. Dimuthu Veerasinghe um, and uh, from grade 3 to 5 onwards we practiced with him and uh, we have our house matches in grade 5, uh, it's an inter-house tournament um, and in grade 5 I remember winning the best batsman and the best bowl awards both together um, so that was when I first played cricket at college. Um, I used to play cricket uh, since I was small, even though I started cricket at college in grade 3, I used to go for an academy, uh, I think when I was in grade 1. And anyways, I uh, liked cricket from my small days. But um, talking about other sports, in the junior school I used to do almost everything except rugby. I couldn't join rugby because uh, my mother was scared to send me. Uh, I was quite fat at that time and everyone wanted me to play rugby but I couldn't join rugby. Um, but I used to do swimming, um, basketball, badminton and all those stuff. Um, and uh, apart from sports, uh, I would say I did the oratory and drama uh, activities like the, those in the junior school up to grade 5. and. Uh, you asked me about the best all-round boy, uh, that's, uh, that was also in grade 5, uh, the I won the best batsman and best bowler I spoke about earlier. Um, so along with all those I got through my scholarship uh, examination also quite well. Um, so with uh, in addition to all those activities I had uh, my SCM religious stuff so as a whole I used to do everything uh, when I was small so that's why uh, and also I have to add to it I was a monitor in grade 5 and uh, the child who got punished most of the time in grade 1 and 2 I was kind of getting into getting a bit studious uh, in maybe when I, I was in the middle of grade 4 and 5 so because I had an opportunity to uh, participate in all those activities. Uh, I was lucky enough and blessed to win the best all-rounder. Uh, yeah, so uh, talking about swimming, uh, I had to. I had no choice but to stop swimming when I was in grade eight. Uh, that is in the middle school. Um, I used to go for meets. I haven't won. Uh, anything particular in swimming but I have taken part in all island meets and represented school. Um, in athletics as I mentioned uh, I have won um, medals at provincial and zonal levels uh, in throwing events obviously not running events. Um, so um, I got into athletics mostly in the middle school though I used to swim from my since I was small. I got into athletics through one of our masters, he wanted me to come and try uh, throwing 
So through uh, after I uh, won some place in an interhouse uh, sports meet, he took me and uh, he wanted me to participate in zonal and provincial levels. And through that, I uh, I won maybe if I remember right, it was two gold medals and two silver medals uh, in putt shot and discus throw. And I was also selected for one of the All Island uh, Sir John Tarbert. Um, athletic meets but I couldn't participate because I had a match so uh, in swimming and athletics that's pretty much it uh, I had to I had to sacrifice most of my athletics because of my cricket as everyone knows Trinity and Anthony's is always a big match no matter it's uh, even if it's an under 13 15 or 17 match um, it's always played with good uh, spirit and we always want to win um, so in in the when we were maybe uh, this is in when we were under 15 uh, we got selected to the pre quarter finals and um, the match was at Asgiria and um, we managed to we won the toss and i think we b batted first we managed to score around 200 odd runs, um, but unfortunately, uh, it was a good game. It was actually a close game. Uh, they lost few early wickets, then they came back again. Then we got back into the game again. Uh, but in the end, they won. And uh, I remember that uh, that week, we couldn't. We had more matches to play, uh, though it was a pre quarter final we had some other i think it was the under 19 matches we couldn't practice properly and uh, we were actually it was like a big match for us we were still small in the under 15s it was like the feeling was like we lost a big match and uh, and we had that game in hand and we lost it again so that was one of the memories in the under 15 um talking about under 17s uh, it was a memorable year for me and our team because we managed to reach the quarterfinals after I think five or six years. Um, but unfortunately, we lost to St. Sebastian's, and uh, even that game was close. Uh, we batted first. Uh, I can't remember exactly the score, but uh, we got a decent score. Then. Uh, while they were chasing, um, rain interrupted the game and it was changed to a Duckworth Lewis system. And they had to chase somewhere around 150. And uh, in the end, they had to score eight runs of two overs and it rained again. And uh, they won on Duckworth Lewis system. And that's one game from the under 17s. So those are two of the most memorable matches I have played. And uh, reaching the quarterfinals after five or six years was another milestone. Yeah, um, so my first season was in 2016-17 under the captaincy of Shanogit Sanmuganathan. I was just a kid of 14 or 15 if I remember right. Um, I played only three games, four games in that season. I got six runs. Uh, only six runs, but I remember my uh, dismissals, as in my catches and runouts. I had more, seven or eight of them. Uh, my dismissals were more than my runs. I remember that. Um, so that was my first season. Um, and in my second season, I managed to do pretty well. Uh, this was under the captaincy of Hasita Boyguda. Um, I managed to get around 600 runs and also more than 30 wickets, I guess. Um, so in that season, I managed to win college colors. Um, if I talk about an inning I remember in that season, I got my uh, first 100 against Nalanda College in Boralla. Um, I had played three matches in that season. I had failed all three matches and in the first inning of the Nalanda match, I got run out. I ran myself out uh, when I was on zero. I hadn't even faced a ball. 
and I remember my coach telling me uh, if I don't score I was a pretty good player at that time uh, and uh, even if if I don't score uh, more than 30 or 40 in the second innings I'll be dropped so I remember um, on the first day uh, we were ahead Trinity was ahead but uh, I couldn't sleep I was thinking about it I was just 16 so uh, however on the second day I managed to get a hundred off I think 180 balls um, that was one of the even my coaches told me that was one of the best innings I have ever uh, played, they have ever seen. Uh, so that was quite memorable in that year. Um, moving on to the to my third year in first eleven cricket, um, this is under the captaincy of Pubudu Bandara. Um, in that season again I managed to get um, over 800 runs and also over 40 wickets again. Um, in this season, we managed to. Uh, in the previous season under Hasit Boyegoda, we uh, we were the All Island runners up. And um, in my third year under the captaincy of Pubudu Bandara, um, we lost the quarter final. This is against St. Sebastian's again. Uh, the match was played at St. Anne's uh, Grounds, uh, Kurunagala. Uh, that was quite a twist uh, because we won the first innings. We won the first innings of the match and uh, we were quite okay with the result and uh, actually that was a that was one of the mistakes, one of the greatest mistakes uh, we have done throughout my cricketing career at college. Um, we didn't take the match very seriously and we were quite okay with everything uh, but uh, in the last session of the second day they managed to come back and they won the match outright. We won the first innings and they won the match outright. Um, so that's from that year. Um, the next year was under Ruin Paris. Uh, this year we did quite well. Um, we, we were the All Island best team. We couldn't play the big match because of Covid. Um, but even the season was uh, stopped because I think we reached the quarterfinals again in the two-day tournament and the pre-quarterfinals in the one-day tournament. Um, we had the most outright wins in the country and we were awarded, awarded the best team. Um, that was also quite a good year for me. I got uh, over 700 runs and uh, 74 wickets. Um, and my last year was 2020-21 season. Uh, even that season, we couldn't play the big match. That uh, that's one of the regrets I have. Uh, we couldn't play two big matches in two years. Uh, however, we managed to reach the semi-finals in that year too. Um, we won to uh, we lost to St Joseph's in the semis. Uh, it was a one-day tournament. We played uh, about 15 matches including our traditional matches and uh, I managed to become the joint highest wicket taker along with Dunit Velalagi of St. Joseph's in the one day tournament that is. Um, I couldn't get as many runs in that um, year. So that's pretty much a roundup of my first 11 career. Um, I would like to just mention one match, uh, a one day encounter between us and uh, St. Anthony's. Um, we lost the big match on first innings. This was in 2019, the last time we played a big match. Um, we lost the big match on first innings and we were on the back foot. And um, the one day encounter was the week before, week after. Um, and we were, we went through a lot. We went through lots of sessions, practice sessions, even mental sessions. Everyone wanted us to win the big match and uh, even we lost our captain Pobudu, uh, he was injured and I was the main batsman in the team and um, my coach and as well as our foundation, the cricket foundation, everyone was talking to me, they wanted me to score a big 100 and win the match for college but um, I remember I got out for about 15 runs uh, playing a rash shot 
and I was uh, blackguarded in front of everyone um, and we only managed to get around 180 runs. Um, after all that, uh, we went into bowl. St. Anthony's was 80 odd for two wickets and uh, I came into bowl. Uh, I remembered, I actually remembered everything everyone told me uh, like during the previous week. They wanted me to win the match. We didn't have our captain. However, uh, taking all those in, I managed to get six wickets and we won the match um, by around 20 or 30 runs. So that is like the most memorable match for me. Um, after losing a big match on first innings, we managed to win the one day encounter and that was like a good comeback. So that's the most memorable moment in my career. Yeah, if I talk about balancing cricket, uh, not only cricket and studies, but other activities, prefectship stuff, being a prefect is a big deal, we have to manage the college basically, all the discipline and everything. So um, balancing all those, I feel that it's a part of life, balancing everything. Not only in school, but after even after you leave school. Um, I would like to say that at first, when I was small, my parents were a big influence on me. Uh, they helped me uh, study. They help, uh, even after I go home, after practices, I was tired. Um, they encouraged me to study. They taught me how important um, studies are and balancing life is. Um, my role model was when I was small. Obviously, um, any Trinitian would love to become like Kumar Sangakara. So when I was small, uh, I was always spoken about him. Everyone told me that uh, look at him, he's balancing everything in life. That's how you have to be, you have that potential. So you have to reach that place one day. If you want to reach that, um, you have to balance your studies as well. Playing cricket only won't help. So, um, yeah, my parents were the roots of teaching me to balance everything. Um, but after I matured um, a bit, I started to sort of understand what studies is, why you have to balance everything and um, I have to say time management is one of the most important things in balancing uh, all the activities. Um, yeah, uh, I don't like to mention a lot of names because I might miss someone and uh, that's not actually right. Um, I can say uh, Cricket-wise, my first coaches were uh, Mr. Lakshman Panditharatna, Mr. Indika Fernando, uh, those two were at the academy in Katugasutta, and Mr. Dimuthu Veerasinghe um, at, at college. Um, yeah, uh, I don't like to mention a lot of names because I might miss someone and uh, that's not actually right. Um, I can say uh, Cricket-wise, my first coaches were uh, Mr. Lakshman Panditharatna, Mr. Indika Fernando, uh, those two were at the academy in Katugasutta, and Mr. Dimuthu Veerasinghe um, at, at college. So my grade one teacher was, class teacher was Mrs. Obesekara, and um, in grade three, four and five, uh, we obviously need teachers to guide us through everything. So all my class teachers, assistant class teachers, uh, in those grades, were, they really helped me a lot. Um, also in the middle school, um, I remember that was when I started playing, taking cricket more seriously and I was in class most of the time. So all the teachers, I don't want to mention names, um, all, all my teachers, um, who, teachers who taught me, teachers who didn't teach me, everyone, uh, they supported me a lot. Um, and uh, I would like to mention Mr. Andrew Fowler Watt, one of our um, former principals. Um, he was uh, one person who wanted me to go up in life and he supported me um, for that a lot. And even the present principal, Father Aralia, um, though he joined recently, uh, he has also been a 
great support. Um, all in all, all the teachers and coaches have played uh, a massive role in life. Not only my college teachers, but also I, I had to go for extra classes. I had no choice because I was not in school, obviously. So all those teachers, I would like to uh, thank all of them. And talking about friends, uh, I'm a person who, uh, who is really friendly with everyone. Uh, one reason is that I, I guess one reason is that I'm, I'm an only child and I have no siblings so I tend to connect with people quite easily and um, all my friends in college, uh, all my teammates and uh, friends outside college, all of them have been a great support for me. Um, when I was going through a rough patch maybe in cricket, when I was not scoring runs, every, all of them have supported me. Um, and yeah, they have been a great support. I have no words to express that feeling. They have been like a part of my life throughout. Even now I have really close friends. I have a lot of friends. Everyone uh, knows that I have a lot of friends. Um, so yeah, they have also played a major role in bringing me up here. Um, a major goal for me is playing for Sri Lanka. Um, apart from that, I would like to say, um, as of now, I'm uh, I'm studying at Imperial College and following a degree. Uh, so it's connected to finance and the corporate sector. So I would like to see myself a successful person in the business field along with my cricket um, in maybe four or five more years then I, ha I would have completed my degree and also I would be 23 or 24 and that's where I think I would be at my peak in cricket so um, as I said my major um, goal is uh, playing for Sri Lanka and becoming a proper professional cricketer uh, and to go along with that, I would like to have a career in business. Um, as everyone says, Trinity is a place that produces all-rounders and good personalities. Um, maybe people outside school don't see that. Um, some may see it, some may not. But I would like to say, if I was not at Trinity, uh, I wouldn't be this person today. So. From the junior school onwards, the junior school actually lays a perfect foundation for that. Not only um, people who study well, but uh, Trinity produces people who can talk well, who can carry themselves um, wherever they go. And um, it comes with all the traditions and the ethos of college. Um, if I have to talk about everything, um, um, I would like to mention how um, everyone in college uh, stand on behalf of each other. The brotherhood uh, we carry around, uh, wherever a Trinitian goes, another Trinitian would support him or him in any way they could. Um, and um, stuff we learn from college is not only as I said earlier, it's not only about studies or it's not only about sports. It's about traditions, it's about character, it's, it builds our character. Um, even when we talk about religion, race, there is no um, racism or nothing of that sort. We have uh, people from everywhere, people from every religion. Um, Trinity teaches us to live with everyone in harmony and to help each other a lot. So I would like to say that if I wasn't at Trinity, um, I would have not been this person. Um, firstly, I would like to say that I'm a pretty religious person. It comes from my parents. Uh, I'm a Catholic. I believe in God. Uh, that's one of the main reasons I was able to uh, come through all my hardships and uh, finally succeed. Um, apart from that, 
um, I would like to say whatever you go through, um, whatever difficulties you come across, always you have to believe in yourself. Um, you have to um, believe that you are a better person than that and you can always reach that goal. Uh, positivity is a huge part of my life. Um, I'm a very positive person. I would take whatever positive stuff even from a loss. Even when we lose a match, even when I don't score runs, I would like to take something positive out of it and build on that. Uh, that's one of my main principles that I follow. Also dedication. Um, when I was small, I used, uh, my father used to tell me that um, Sangakara, the small days he was our hero. Um, he used to play a thousand balls even after he scores a hundred. So a thousand, uh, when I was small, I used to think that thousand balls was just 10 or 15 minutes. But later I came to realize that it was more than one hour of practice, one or two hours of practice and that's a lot. So I brought that up because I wanted to talk about dedication. Dedication is a thing that you can't, you, you have to have it in your life. If you are not dedicated towards what you want to achieve, you'll never achieve it. So I would like to say that positivity and dedication are two main principles I follow. And no matter what, believing in yourself, that would help you get through anything and uh, finally come out well and be happy and satisfied about what you have achieved. Um, yeah. As I said, uh, I don't want to bring out many names because I, uh, I don't want to miss anyone. But um, I have to thank my parents for whatever they've done for me. I know uh, what they went through, uh, all the hardships they have faced, and uh, everything they've gone through to bring me up here, um, to put me to Trinity, and to uh, I studied here for 14 years, that's a lot, um, so I would like to thank them uh, more than anything and also my coaches, my friends, my teachers I met throughout my life. Um, I would like to mention my first 11 coaches, um, Mr. Kavindu Jayasurya, Mr. Navi Nekanayaka, Mr. Lahiru, uh, Mr. Tilina and uh, there were many coaches in the past, in my junior cricket, um, Mr. Dilka Panagoda, Mr. Sanjay, Mr. Sunil, L.H. Sunil, um, Mr. Hasita, all of them, all of them helped me a lot. I'm sorry if I missed any names. Uh, I would like to thank everyone whom I have met in life, not only people who taught me, but everyone I met. Um, I was able to gain something or the other from everyone. So. Uh, yeah, about thanking, that's pretty much it.